folks, this is the second flight today of the remade, remade in three part video series of the uh, Free Wing Tomcat 64 millimeter uh, F14A. Um, this time I'm going to take off and specifically, specifically take off and safe again, land and safe again, okay? And with the, I'm going to take, use takeoff flaps this time to see if I can't get up off the deck a little bit sooner. And, and then I'm going to land again and save and then I'm going to take off and land uh, the next time just the AS3X or the uh, wind gyro only. Most All right, let's go down here. I'm going to put the takeoff, takeoff flaps in. I'm listen. Okay, now listen. Safe mode. Safe mode. All right. <laughs> takeoff flaps in by the book. All the rates are by the book. I'm going to fly in the uh, low rates, which is the 80% on the ailerons, 80% on the rudder, and 100% still on the elevator. The elevator rate does not change. All right. I may switch to high rates in the air to see how she feels. Let me cross in front here. Taking off into the wind. So really, don't need takeoff flaps. Um, yeah, into the wind. I don't need takeoff flaps. I'll have to maybe the next flight. All right, here we go. Yeah. You're going up. AS3. I'm definitely out of the safe because it it is restrictive. Just at AS3X right now. All right. Retract down. Retracts are going down. Safe mode. Okay. Landing flaps. Two minutes. All right, I'm not in safe this time. I changed my mind. All right, I'm actually in AS3X. I did not land in safe. And I have found that with the retract or with the flaps down, she balloons way too much. So I think the uh, book is a little wrong on the down to elevator mix. So I think it needs a little more down elevator mix. So, all right, let's go down here. This time we're gonna take off and land AS3X only, okay? I love to be able to keep her on a runway, but right now I'm just trying to survive. She's got some power and she's fast. All right, wind kind of died, so we will try takeoff flaps. Safe mode, AS3X mode, gear up, landing flaps. Okay. Flaps up. Alright, we're gonna come by. Kind of low. Get a better look at her. Okay. Down. Gear going down. Landing flaps. Alright, gear going down. 30 seconds. 20 seconds. All right. Full 
roll flaps were down, I had to hold a little bit of down elevator. So the mix is a little off. It needs to have a little more down elevator mix. Ten, nine, um, eight, seven, okay. Six, five, seven, Learning a little bit more. Two, I'm comfortable landing her. I am very comfortable landing her with uh, AS3X on only and, and lead, not using safe for takeoff and landing. I'm comfortable with that now. So, and the safe, I, you know, I did say that possibly in the, in the after crash video that maybe was safe, you could actually turn her over, but no, it, it, it fought me. So I'm gonna stay now in the AS3X wind gyro, and I'm gonna leave the gyro on, the, the wind gyro, but I'm not going to no gyro. Safe That's, mode. okay. Experience. The experience mode is no gyro. I'm gonna leave it in the AS3X mode, okay? <laughs> Blow the grass out of it. Prop secured. Prop secured. And I'm going to show you where I've got the battery at. Now the battery, I didn't show you in this last video. And hopefully this next time I can actually land on the runway. I got the battery where I originally had the battery when I first flight. And I think I like it best. Not underneath the back there, but right up with it. And that's where the 5000, that's where she seems to go pretty good. Let me put the hatch back on. I want to, I want to check that CG real quick because I did this a little bit different this time. I had the battery a little bit further forward. I know the gear is down, but the CG marks on the frame, not on the wings. With the gear down, slightly, slightly tail heavy, which actually helps you with landing like I was saying in the after crash video. So with the gear up, okay, with the gear up and the battery there, she should be perfectly level. And she, and she is. Right there. Right there. Right there is good. All right. All right. So that's the battery placement. So everybody was right about the battery placement. But what was, wrong, what was different is use the CG on the frame, not on the wings. And I don't know... The reason why they put two CG marks, maybe it's because of the wings swept or something that changed, obviously it would change. This next flight, when we take it up, I will actually try the wing sweep mechanism. You know, I'm taking baby steps, baby steps. This is an expensive plane and I'm having to put a lot of attention into it. So this plane you fly. I know that sounds too, yeah, you fly. Some planes you can just take up and you just enjoy, you know, and yeah, you, you, you don't have to pay as much, not this one. This one, you've got to stay on it. you got to stay on this one, okay? Um, this is not a beginner plane. Not. Let me say it again. Not a beginner plane. This is advanced expert. This is somewhere, somewhere between advanced and expert. And uh, she's pushing me to the test, but I'll tell you, I'm loving it. I mean, look at this thing. Isn't it awesome? All right, let's check. Did we check the battery? We didn't check the battery, did we? All right. I love them wooden veins underneath that protects the butt. So when she rocks back, she's on that those wooden sk uh, skids or fins or whatever they are. Got the KM model afterburner in her. Okay. 33%. So three and a half minutes. And we were one second shy of three and a half minutes. So three and a half minutes is, is golden on a 5,000. If I put a 4,000 in there, I'd move it forward a little bit and I'd go three minutes. Okay. All right, folks. Well, there you go. Uh, again, like I said in the last video, I'm now an affiliate with the Motion RC beta program. And um, there'll be a purchase link in the uh, description of this video. If you like the plane, once it comes back in stock, please use my link and I'll, I'll get a kickback. It's not going to cost you any more money. You're just going to help me out. And if you're going to buy the plane anyways, you know, why not help Motion RC help me pay for all the stuff I bought from them? <laughs> all right, folks. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is the second flight of the three-part remaiden series on, on this highly dramatic F-14A Tomcat Twin 64. Just look at that thing. Isn't that not beautiful? Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.